Jesus began to pray from the fourth watch of the day until the fourth watch of the night. That is about 3 p.m. our time, from 3 in the afternoon to 3 a.m. In, 3 a.m., 3 in the morning. That, that is how many hours of prayer? Huh? 12 hours. The Holy Spirit says, slow down. Matthew 14, Jesus had just multiplied bread and sent home to this. I mean, fed the thousands of people. You know the story, right? When he had finished feeding the multitude, Jesus sent the multitude away and he asked the disciples to get on the boat and cross to the other side. And the Bible says he withdrew in a solitary place to pray. And the Bible says the evening being come, Jesus was there alone. So he started praying at a certain hour of the afternoon until when the evening came. Then he pressed on and prayed until the fourth watch of the night. Jesus' disciple came to him and said, Lord, teach us how to pray. Of all the things that they saw Jesus do, the only thing they asked Jesus to teach them was how to, to pray. They saw Jesus perform miracles, but they didn't ask him, teach us how to perform miracles. They saw Jesus teach like a, like a doctor, but they never taught, asked Jesus to teach them how to teach or how to preach. The only thing they asked Jesus to teach them was how to pray. Why? Because after they had followed Jesus for a while, they discovered the secret of the power and the secret of the miracles and the secret for the authority he displayed in public was drawn from his secret life. How many? Now, see, that day Jesus told me, you want to do the works that I did and even greater works, right? I said, yes. He said, condition number one is that you must be able to pray as much as I did. The father told me, I will be unrighteous. Listen to this. I, it will be unrighteous on my side, on my part, to do with you the same works I did with Jesus, you praying less. He says, three things that will prevent you from getting there. See, this dimension, you can't access them. If you don't observe this, this three things. Number one, number one enemy to, from, that will stop you from getting there is excess eating and drinking. See, listen to me. Oh. You may not agree with me. You are not forced to agree. But if you walk with the Spirit of God, he will, come, he will tell you that what I'm telling you is true. See, if you eat three, three meals a day, forget, oh, you will never get there. Three meals a day, forget, oh, say goodbye. You will never get there. <laughs> Luke 21, 34 is a scripture. Any man that lingers around table and table's activity, anything that is done around table, food, eating, drinking, if you like eating and you spend your three meals a day, oh, you are disqualified. Did you find Luke 21, 34? And take heed to yourself, lest at any time your hands be overcharged. With what? And what? And what? And the day comes upon you. He said your heart, if your heart will get heavy, if you eat, you linger around the table, eating, drinking, and the cares of life, we make your heart and I ask the Lord. But when we eat, it doesn't go to the heart, it goes to the stomach. He told me there is a direct connection between your heart and your stomach. The moment your heart is filled, your, your stomach is full, he will draw your heart down. You become insensitive. Jesus was a man given to fasting and praying. You don't know that. He spent almost his life, almost all his life in the fast. His disciples were spending time eating. They would eat and they would not even wash their hands. They would eat anything that they saw. 
So if you eat three course, three meals a day, say goodbye. You glory, you only hear it in preaching and in songs. You never see it. See, he <laughs> number two enemy. Sleep. Every activity that is done around the bed. If you, you linger too long around your bed, say goodbye to glory. You will not see it. Pastor, he took them to the Mount of Transfiguration. Peter, James, and John. They were his three best friends, his jokers. The, these are the three guys that Jesus was counting on that when I go, I will, this thing I will hand over to them. When he took them to the Mount of Transfiguration, he did not just want them to come and be spectators. He wanted them to be part of the transfiguration. He said, let's go and, and pray. When they got to the man, what happened? The three of them decided to sleep. It is the one who prayed that was transfigured. The ones that did not pray were not transfigured. Even though they were at the Mount of Transfiguration, at the hour of transfiguration, they missed the transfiguration because they chose to sleep. See, when your stomach is full, the next thing that you want to do sleep. So the two are connected. He took them to the Mount of Transfiguration. They missed the Transfiguration, right? Then he took them to the Mount of Gethsemane. He wanted them to enter his passion with him. They missed it because of sleep. So, if you are a minister, a man of God, a woman of God, and you delay around your bed, you sleep all night from 9 p.m. You go to bed 9, 10 p.m. and you sleep till 6 a.m. You are bewitched. You need help. You seriously need help. I mean, it's urgent. Urgently needs help. Somebody must help you. See, I just told you that the master, every day, our master left the room while it was yet dark and went to a solitary place to pray. There must be a time in your agenda in every night that is called the hour of prayer. When Je the night Jesus was born, eh, it is the shepherds that were awake that saw the angels, that saw the glory. The shepherds that were asleep, eh, they only heard the story in the morning. If you sleep at the same time with your sheep, you are not a shepherd. The third enemy that will hinder you from seeing this thing I'm talking about is called familiarity. The day you become familiar to God and to the things of God, you have connect, disconnected yourself. That one I will not comment it because I don't have time. Maybe some other time. Next time when I come for a school of ministry, we'll talk about that. Did you learn something tonight? So, to summarize what I said, number one, you must change your prayer focus. He said, up until now, you haven't asked for anything. He said, ask. My father is willing to give you, but ask. That so